Welcome back. Now, a school secretary has been fatally shot in her car in Primrose Park, Cape Town, this morning. Let's go to our senior reporter, Aisha Ishmael, who's on the scene just to get more uh, information. Aisha, do we have any more details as to what happened there this morning? So, Maseha, I'm standing in the road in Konini Street in Primrose Park where the incident took place just after 7 this morning. Now, as you can see, the road is very, very quiet, but just where that grey car is, that's where the 61-year-old school secretary of Primrose Park was. She was in her car. She had a six-year-old grandson with her and two gunmen apparently came up to the car and fired shots and she was fatally injured. Now, we spoke to some of the family members earlier just as they were leaving and they did not want to appear on camera because you can understand they were still very, very distraught. I spoke to the daughter and she was saying she still spoke to her mother this morning when she left home and it is the daughter, six-year-old, that was in the car because um, the woman, Suraya Bardin, who is the secretary at the Primrose Primary School. Um, her grandson, the six-year-old, was in the car with her and he also attends the primary school. So you can imagine he is extremely traumatized and they did not want us to get close to the six-year-old. Six but just again, you can see the school has been closed. The school's just meters away from where the incident took place. I did speak to the police earlier this morning and they were saying that they have absolutely um, no they don't know what the motive for for the killing was they are investigating but again as we when we arrived this morning the police were still um, busy um, while they were packing up and they were leaving the scene and we'll probably have to wait until this afternoon to find out exactly you know whether the police were able to get any more information on this story this devastating and tragic incident I mean a school secretary going to school in the early hours of this morning being gunned down just meters away from the school gate now we also know that the 61 year old Suraya Bardin was at the school she she served the school for 20 years, so she was very, very well known. But also Maseho, um, somebody that I spoke to as we, as they were leaving the scene, said to me that last year Suraya Bardin was a victim of a hijacking and they could believe, and of course this is just speculation, they were just wondering whether this had anything to do with the suspect that had been arrested last year in connection with the hijacking of Suraya Bardin. And this person is apparently due to appear in court next week. Hmm. Very heart-wrenching story indeed there, Aisha. Uh, just for clarity, do we know um, at all if the Primrose Primary School, um, are classes still on? Have they resumed classes or have, have they decided uh, that everybody should go home for today? And have you been able to get a, a, um, in touch with the Department of Education in the province? The school is closed, as you can see. Um, all the children have been sent home, as well as the teachers. I have sent a query to the education department, so I am awaiting a response from them. But as I said, I did speak to the South African police services. They obviously confirmed the incident and said that the matter, uh, um, a case of murder has been registered and the matter is being investigated. All right, senior reporter Aisha Ishmael outside the Primrose Primary School giving us a bit of those details. Let's leave it there for now. We'll go back to Aisha as soon as she's uh, been able to gather more information. Let's take.